very beginning, heaven and earth were created years before the first man ever walked on the surface of the earth. There was a war in heaven amongst the gods. The defeated were cast down to earth. There were the fallen. Some fell into the water, some on the mountain, while some on the ground. These gods are so powerful. They control the affairs of human existence, even at this time However, these gods seem to be controlled by the world of human existence. Some want to be born and live in life well. Some want to have a taste of human existence, while others want to live as gods among the world. These gods have preference and are jealously guarded. Ignorance makes man to trespass and consequently pay a painful price, a price he pays without even knowing them. For the gift of this wonderful child. Hmm. Nay. Hmm? You need to see your daughter in the farm today. Okay. She did very well. Hmm. Even with the cooking. <laughs> you know, she will make your work easier, you know? Exactly. Hmm. You see, hmm. whenever I think of what happened before her birth, ah. during her birth and now. Hmm. Give our ancestors thank you. Mm. Nine. This is the joy they wanted to deny us. Mm -hmm. They wanted to deny us the joy of parenthood. That is it. But our ancestors, our ancestors refused. said no. <laughs> Don't mind them. And you, mm? and you didn't bring uh, water. Water. Mm. Mm. I actually forgot. When we finish, we take water inside. <laughs> 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 you have come up. Mm. You have come up. Mm, no problem. Uh, Uma, will you come to my house when you're done cooking it this evening? I don't know. If mother allows me, 
we come? She will allow you to come. What if she does not allow me? Then I will come over to your own heart. I think that is better. Yes. Hey, I have to go back now. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. See you later. Now, you are back? Yes, indeed. What about your friend, Emma? Oh, Emma, she has gone home. It's okay. It's okay. No, let me quickly drop this water. Emma, uh, I want to go and see Emma. We we'll have somewhere to go to. Emma again? But you've not eaten your food. And uh, I know that I just came back. I'll eat when I return back. Please. No. No, you have to go and eat your food, please. Nay, no, please. I have to rush now. I want to go and see her. There is an important place I want to go to. Nay, nay. Nay, I'll be back quickly. We'll go. I'll be back. Eh. <laughs> These two people, these two children. Anyway, the gods knows the best. Is it? Oh, no, 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 nothing. I... Where is Emma? Emma has gone out with uh, her friend Olu. Okay. No, no, I, I was just thinking about all these nightmares she keeps having, you know, regularly, regularly. I, I don't know. My husband. <sighs> My husband, it is nothing. It is nothing. See, I don't want you to create any negative thing in our hearts. It is just a dream. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. Uh, what were you doing? I was trying to prepare something for us to eat. Okay. See my husband. It is okay. I have had you. It's okay. Good. Let's go in. <laughs> Envy me? Why? You know, Ugo is a nice young man. And sometimes, I wish I have someone like him. I guess I am lucky then. <laughs> Ma, I will advise you always be with him. Let this maiden take him away from you. <laughs> Hola. You talk as if you don't know me. No one takes him away from me. Not why I am still with him. 
<laughs> mm. Mm, I trust you. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> Good day, ma. Good day, my daughters. How are you? Fine, we are ma. fine. Ma, is you going? Ah, no. Uge wanted the farm to check something. He's not home. Okay. When he comes, tell him I check on him. I hope no problem. No problem. No problem. We'll be on our way now. Oh, it's okay. Thank you very much. No problem. I'm going to somewhere. Okay. Mm. okay Thank you very so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> My regards to your parents. Thank you. What are you doing in our farm? My love, I'm just trying to help out. <laughs> Boy, you shouldn't have bothered now, eh? Yes, I know, but the weeds in the farm have started growing, so they need to be cleared. Okay. We are actually coming back from the other farm, and we are on our way going back home. When you finish, you just go back home, okay? Okay, love, I'll do that. Take care of yourself. Ask me, I will say that boy Ikenna really loves you so very much. What kind of foolish love is that? Eh? How can you love somebody that does not love you? Ne, the last time I checked, you're also in love with the person who doesn't love you. I think that as well is a foolish love. Eh, my own case is different, please. Really? Okay. Well, more grace to your able. Thank you. Ugo. Ugo. Ma. We're just coming from your hut. And I'm equally coming from your hut too. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> well, I guess I should let people discuss. I have an errand to run. Alright. Bye. 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 <laughs> I actually went to your hut. I met your mother. She said that you. Are you serious? Inside. That doesn't answer my question. Why are you here? Okay. I prepared a very special meal for you. A goosey soup. And you like it. I prepared it myself. When did I tell you that I needed food from you? For crying out loud, my mother is a good cook. And my mama is an excellent cook. So I don't need your food. Ugo, 
Why are you so full of yourself? Eh? Am I not better than Uma? Why are you making me feel as if I'm a nobody? Girl, hey, come and take this poison out from here, okay? Come and take. Come, 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 come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come and take this poison out from here. I don't need your food. My ma is a good cook. My mother, she's very good. You, you brought poison for me. I'm done. Uh -uh. It's very fine. You're done? Yes. <laughs> hey, Uma, are you sure? Yes, now. Check it. You like it. That was very fast. I love it. It's very fine. <sighs> Why are you staring at me like that? I want to tell you something. Something? Yes. Something you've not said before? Um, yes. Ma, you know we, we, we practically grew up together. Mm -hmm. And our parents know that we are in love with each other. So I want to ask you. Will you marry me? Is that why you brought me here so that we can be alone and make your hair? Uh, no. No. You know I love you so much, Ma. I can't think of any other thing. You give me sleepless night. You are all I care for. Please, marry me. I love you so much. <laughs> You're all I think of. I will marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Yuma. Thank You're you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you so much. I love you too. I will promise to make you happy Thank for the you. rest of my life. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> May the gods bless this day. He say. <laughs> <laughs> Please hurry up with the, the firewood eh? okay. We have to prepare something for the family to eat. Hmm? Okay, ma'am.
Mama. Well, what is it? There is something I want to tell you. Um, oh, yes. I don't know if it is okay or not. Ma, what is it? Say it. You can confide in me. I'm your mother. Ugo have proposed to me. <laughs> and um, what did you say to him? I don't understand you, Mama. I know both of you love each other. I am not a baby. I can say that. Mama, please. I love him so much. What did you say to him? I don't understand you. He's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I was just feeling your legs. a good word. And um, <clears throat> I hope you said yes. <clears throat> it was all over you, my dear, when you returned home the previous night. Even in your sleep, you were singing a funny love song in a ghost name. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> well, Ugo is a very nice young man. A nice young man that every reasonable man would love to have as a son-in-law. It is well. Thank you, Papa. Mm. You're welcome, my dear. Don't worry, he is welcome. Thank you. Mm? Um, what are you people planning to do? Food. Food. I want to prepare something for us to eat. Do quick, because this place needs something inside. I know. And are you here in that room? Exactly. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I know. Hurry up. When she finishes, she can join her mates. Are you hearing it? I am. Good, good, good. All right. Ugo, I have to go now. We have been out for too long. I don't want mother to be angry at me. Oh, ma, ma, there you go again. There you go again. Mother has to understand that you are no longer a kid. You are a grown up lady for crying out loud. I know. But remember, we are still under their roof. Yes, but I know that very, very soon we'll be independent of our own. Meaning? Meaning nothing. Not even. <laughs> Ma! See you! Bye. Bye. Go. Believe what the king has said. What did he say? Hmm. Now, I want to say something. I hope you will not be offended. Why will I? You have not offended me. Hmm. Well, do you know why I, I was there when Ugo proposed to you? Liar. There was nobody there. <laughs> I was watching from a hidden place. You people were holding hands. Am I not right? So you are admiring my husband? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, 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 ma. I'm not admiring him, but I'm a little crazy about the love you people share. I just pray to have someone that will love me the way Ugo loves you. Don't worry, eh? The gods will provide you with a loving and a caring man like you. Ise, oh, Ise. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. I 
have come to warn you. I actually saw your parents going out. And I think this is the best time to come talk sense into you. Ma, let Ugo be. There are so many boys in this village for you to hang around with. Take your banjo to them. Let my Ugo be. I love Ugo. I think you are confused. You need some spiritual help. Let me ask you. You claim you love Ugo. Does he love you? If only you can let him go out of your hook. You will have no any other choice but to be with me. So you just have to let my Ugo be. Sorry. I will not let him go out of my hook. Ugo is my. And my always. Okay? So can you go now? I mean, leave my house. <sighs> How many children do you want us to have? Children? thought about this before but now you have asked me I will answer you um I think 11 children will be fine <laughs> why are you laughing 11 children yes you don't want to kill me <laughs> I think three children are okay for us no 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 not three children not three children no. then after that we can play on but not for childbearing what do you mean by playing along and not bearing of children? I don't understand. Am I supposed to spell the words before you know what I meant? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not in for that. You are giving me 11 children. No. If you insist, three. I will increase it to 20. Ah! Yes, no, 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 no. <laughs> you are having three children. <laughs> Let me on the most serious note, I need 11 children. No, 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 no. I'm the man I'm not in charge. Me 11 children. Three. 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 My children. Oh, no. I collect it and keep them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. My wife is a very good girl. Yeah, you have a good mother. Good girl. Name me. Take water. Is 
what he would have wished for you. Yes. This is not the end of life. Please, my daughter. Please. He's going. He's okay. Oh, mom, he's okay. He's okay. God has a reason for everything. Do you hear me? He's going. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I hope you are not thinking of what that Divya said so many years ago. Yes. You see, we have been happy ever since we came to Omonze. Exactly. Eh, but I... I there mean... is no but, my husband. There is no but. No but. Yes. My daughter does not have any cost placed on her. It is just a coincidence. Yes. Mm. Yes. But why now that she is about to get married? Why? My husband, just like I said earlier on, it is a coincidence. I don't know why you are holding yourself like this. Why? Allow the girls to decide for themselves. You worry too much. You worry too much, my husband. Huh? We should not blame ourselves. We, we are not the gods. You don't need to feel bad because of his death. That is what happened when man could test with the gods. I don't feel bad because he is dead. I feel bad because I made her cry. She doesn't know she belongs to me. She can't hear you or touch you until she leaves the body. If you want her now, let's take her home. Before a man have a test of her, remember, she must come to you as virgin. Any man who tastes that which belongs to the cows will be sent on an errand, but he will never return. I know that wind killed Ugo. I know. 
But I want to go, go. Don't listen to me. Now Ugo is gone. Fujide, you have to stop all this crying. Huh? Ugo is gone and there's nothing you can do about it. And you're not so sure of what you're saying. That mama is responsible. Because then it's okay. You're it's hurting yourself. Ma. It's not Mama. Who else will kill Ugo? Who else will kill Ugo? I swear I will deal with that girl. I will deal with Mama. Fine, we'll talk about that some other time. But you have to stop crying. You're hurting yourself. Okay, fine. Let's go to the house, okay? Let's go to my house. Hmm? Stop, please. Yeah? What is the meaning of this? You think you can kill Ugo and go squad free? What? What is this one talking about? If you don't shut your mouth, I will shut it for you. I should shut up my mouth. Ah! Njide! Njide, you are looking for trouble! Njide! You are looking for trouble! You are looking for trouble! Father! You are welcome. Thank you, Papa. You are looking good. Yeah, thank you, Father. And how are you doing, ah, Papa? As you can see, I'm fine. Hi, <laughs> your mother. She's fine. Ah, and um, ah, why this uh, unexpected visit? I hope all is well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Papa, I know. Um, but our people used to say that when a tiger is of age, he drinks blood and not milk. Yes. So I think. Um, my time has come, so I've decided to come down home to make the right choice. I know where you are going to. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Um, uh, I was about going out. Let's go inside. Okay. <laughs> uh, What you told me the previous night, your intention of getting married to Marika's daughter is out of it. I am not in support of that. So count it out. Hmm? Okay, father. But what about the girl I told you of? The one I saw the day I was coming to the village. Oh, Marika's daughter. Such a nice girl. Two months ago, she lost her friend two days before her marriage. Very bad. Huh. Two months is a long time now. She must have put it behind. Not really, but um, later in the day, I will, I will go and talk to the father and persuade him. I believe he will agree. <laughs> So don't worry, don't bother yourself, okay? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Um, Father, I I will have to go and prepare to go to the farm. 
to that guy. Face off, man. Greetings. Um, I'm sorry. I just want to bother you a little. My name is Madu, the son of Okole, the Pan White Tapa. Um, actually, I came to the village for some reasons. I live with my mother in the neighboring village. Well, um, I am Oluoma. Oluoma. And I am. Omalicha. Omalicha. That's nice. Okay. Um, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Right, bye. Bye-bye. What you are asking me to do is very, very difficult to implement. You and I know that it is barely two months now that she lost her friend. I'm talking to her now about new relationship or marriage. I don't know how she will react to that. Yes, uh, but um, this is her chance to lay off her thoughts and the spirit of go off her mind. That's it. And do you think she would really want to do that? Ah, this what trial. Good day, my father. Hey, you're yeah. welcome. No, no, no. Welcome. Uh, 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 hey, uh, my friend, Nduka, uh -huh. I believe we've uh, discussed that length. Um, let me be on my way now. Eh? Please, uh, talk to your daughter. Mm -hmm. Please. Eh? Talk to her. All right. Uh, uh, I shall come tomorrow with my son. Hmm? I will talk to her. But please, uh, let me tell you, if you come and the result is negative, please don't be angry. But I will talk to her. Uh, okay. okay I will talk to her. Please talk to her. Uh, I will. I shall be on my way. Okay. okay. I know, I know it, it, it might be impossible, but let us try and convince her. Hmm? My husband, it is a good idea. But I don't know how she will react to this, considering what has happened. See, I don't want her to get hurt. Hmm? Oji, why not call her first? Call her, let's talk to her. Who knows, she might understand. Yes. Okay. Mma. Mma. Yes, Mama. Please come. Come on, here. Come and sit. Mma. Mm. 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 Uh, Mama. You see, uh, uh, whatever we are going to tell you now. Is for your own good. We are your parents, eh? and uh, we cannot do anything that will harm you. That's all. Mm. Uh, you remember that man who was with me when you when you returned? Yes, Papa. <laughs> His son wants to seek your hand in marriage. 
that why you called me here, Mama? Please tell him and his son that I am not ready for any marriage now. Eh, uh, Emma. You see, you see like, like I said, you are your parents. Eh, this is for your own good. You see, it will help you to take off your mind from Ugo. You know, lay off his spirit from your mind and you live a very new life. Eh, please. Please, my daughter. Eh? Ma. Ma. This is for your own good. Eh? Ma, ma. Ma. We are your parents. We will not deceive you. You see this? It is for your own good. Please, listen to us. Oh? Ma. Yes, ma. I know it is hard to do, but... We are your parents who will not deceive you. I have told you time without number to take her before another man approaches her. But you said you love to watch her live among humanity. I thought she could be happy living among women. I really don't want her to cry again. But that's inevitable. She must cry because that's her destiny. As long as she stays and lives amongst women. To have sent her into the world of man is my greatest mistake. You shouldn't have. Men are greedy and the gods are jealous. Take her now or she will have to cry again. My friend, the snake both of us killed yesterday. Uh, we are here to know how many pieces you divided it. <laughs> the snake, you said. Ah, I think uh, it will be more appropriate that the snake itself crawls out, you know, to come and tell us how many pieces it wishes to be divided into. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Ma. Ma. Mm. Oh, yes. mm. oh, you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope you remembered the meeting I had with you at your mommy. Yes, Papa. You remember? Yes. This is my friend. Okoye. Oh, hey. His son, is that Mba? Mado. Oh, Mado. It's senior Tumba. <laughs> His name is Mado, eh? Yeah. Mm, and he had something to discuss with you. Okay, Papa. Mm, I <laughs> suggest that uh, you to go and have that discussion. Mm. Why? Because the two others continue with their color. Well, well, eh? well, <laughs> okay, Papa. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Papa. I'm so happy that my dream of taking a wife in my village is coming true. You know, when you make a wish in your heart, and you believe in it, it will surely come to pass. Yes. Tomorrow, I'll go and see my mother and my friends so that we can prepare for the proper ceremony. That is my prayer. So that in seven days' time, you'll be in my house. 
happy to see you. Very happy. Now, there's another suitor. What is his plan? May his will be done. I remember when I was human. It was fun living in the world of men. But men are generally greedy. They always go after the one that belongs to another, even when they are not ignorant of it. Men are so stupid and unwise. They are just like chaff before the wind in our hands. My only concern is her worldly guidance. If he takes her now, they will be heartbroken. It was foretold to them, but they were so greedy and were not ready to return her back immediately. Now, all their efforts to protect her will probably be in vain. What do we do? journey and uh, my regards to your mother. Father, don't worry. My marriage will unite you and Mama again. I know you still love Mama. I will tell her to forget about everything that has happened so that after my marriage she will return back. It's okay. It's okay. Safe journey, eh? proposed to you. <laughs> I knew it. You knew what? I knew you were the one he was staring at the other day. I actually <laughs> thought it was you. Me? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you are lucky. Yes, I am. At least now you can forget about Ugo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ma. Please, let's go. It's too early to gist. <laughs> Speak. What is happening? What is it? I heard a gunshot. Uh -huh. <laughs> I saw a hunter. Ale? What is the hunter doing? When I got closer, I saw that the hunter had shot. Oh, uh -huh. shot who now? Shot who? How much more do you want her to cry? 
before you free her from her miseries and from the world of men. This was not my original plan for her. What happened to the original plan? She was supposed to be the most beautiful girl in the world, to be loved and adored by all. In all that changed, because the world of men is not a perfect place. Take her now from the world of men. I must tell you the truth. I have been thinking. It's like the DBS prediction that our happiness will be cut short is beginning to 
come to pass. My husband, I am confused. I am so confused because now I know the meaning of those dreams she had previously. Now I can feel this. Now I know the meaning of those dreams. Hey, Timo. We cannot continue like this. I think there's only one way out. Only one way out. Yes. I hope you are not thinking of going back to Umago. I hope you are not thinking of going back to Umago. That same village that placed a curse on our daughter. The same village that made her to be passing what she's passing through today. I hope you don't want us to go back to that place so that she will be used as sacrifice. You want them to use my own daughter as sacrifice. Is that what you want? I am not going back to Obago. I am not going back to Obago. If that is what you are saying, we are not going back there. Who placed a curse on me? I don't want to use me for sacrifice. I am talking to you, Mama. Huh? Hey. So you people knew about my predicament? Uh, no, my daughter. We, we are not sure. We are not sure. Not sure about what? That there is a curse on me? Hey, please calm down. Calm down, ma. Calm down. I, 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 I will explain. Please calm down. Uh, when you were born, right? Uh, that day, darkness overtook the day. Why are you always worried? Why won't I be worried? Why is my case always different? Eh? Your case is not different. The gods have their reasons and no one questions their decisions. Just be patient. Your wife, Oji, will soon deliver. Now my question is, how long will a feverish bird shiver in silence in the presence of its keeper the gods are not silent to your cry. They always save the best for the last. Save the best for the last? Oh yes. Just be patient. You have always been patient all this while. That was what you said a few months back. Be patient, be patient, be patient. Just be patient. Be patient.
are back. Yes. I hope you're okay. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I just went to see the, the Dibia. <sighs> My husband. Not again. I told you not to worry. That all will be well. The God's time is the best. Hmm. Let's go in, my husband. I have actually prepared your meal. When I came out, I didn't see you. But Gigi, I'm not hungry. There are things that are more important than food. This condition is giving me sleepless nights. Yes. My husband. Oh. I know that the God's time is the best. Yes. God's time is the best. We don't have to question them. Gigi. My husband. This is the 13th month since you are carrying this pregnancy. Something that is supposed to be nine months. But Gigi, don't you think that something is wrong somewhere? My husband, I know. Okay. But the Tibia assured us that the gods will favor us. Yes, and that is the most important thing. The gods will favor us. Yes, my husband. I see. God <laughs> Let's go inside. I've right. actually prepared it. It's you. okay. Is that right? Let's go.
Sensors. Where have we gone wrong? Come to my house. He, you, you see, like you have always told me that I should be patient. My ancestors have done it. Yes, they have done it in their own way. They have reasons for everything, and we should never question their decision. I now know that. I know it now. Ndoka. Yes. You and Oji, your wife, should meet me with the child. Uh, okay, no problem. <laughs> we, we will do that. We'll do that. The gods have a message for you to understand and accept concerning the changes that took place today. The sudden darkness which occurred when your child was delivered was not a coincidence. The longer period she stayed in the womb before she was delivered was also another sign from the gods. So, what are you saying? Your child is from the gods. Your child is not ordinary and must not live among mankind. Therefore, shall be sacrificed in the next Ekebake day. Libya, you see, I, I have not had cause to doubt you or doubt your words before. But you see, in this one, I think you're wrong. If a child must die after birth, then why can't the gods prevent that child from coming out to the world in the first place? Why? Ndoka the gods wants you to understand and accept this message. That will make them to pave way for you to have more children. Accept this message the way it is from them. 
I think if I stand here and continue to listen to you, I will do something very bad. Ndoka. The stubborn fly always enters into the grave with the corpse. Ndoka. I will advise you don't resist the gods. Because if you do so, Ndoka, happiness, your happiness will be short lived and sorrow shall be cloud your home. My husband, I cannot just sit down here and allow them to take away my baby from me. You have to do something. You have to do something. Oh, do you talk too much? You talk too much. Let me think. Then you have to think fast. My husband, you have to think fast. You know that the Delia does not give up on anything. He doesn't give up. <laughs> Yes. Yes. We we will go to Munze. I have a friend there. We will be there until we have a better plan. My husband. Munze is not far from here. They will find us. They can find us there. They will not find us, Oji. They won't. They won't find us. Please get in there and unpack your things. Take the baby off. You go. Then why are you still seated? Okay, why are you still seated? I will join you on the way, please. I can sense their presence. Any moment from now, they will be here. Please. I am not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere without you. I am not going anywhere. Please, I will join you. I am not going. Get up, get up. Get up, get up. go and take this baby away. Get up. Bring me the child. You speak of this child as if she is yours. Anyway, I do not know where she is. You, go in there, search and bring that child. You, join him. The child is not in there, DPI. Ndoka, 
You don't know what you have brought upon yourself by hiding them. You have brought upon yourself more pains than you have ever experienced. Your joy and happiness will be short-lived. As for her, the ugly experiences that will befall her, she would wish she was never born. And every blame will come to you. No, wise one. You and the gods will take the blame. You knew how long I waited for this girl to come. Now she's here. You and the gods want to deny me the, the joy of fatherhood. No. You there question the gods, Ndoka. It's because the gods have taken a wrong decision. I have to question it. This word is a word from a foolish man. You have acted foolishly, Ndoka. When the nemesis comes, I will not be there to help you. I do not need your help anymore, wise one. Humble gods of our land, what do I owe this sudden visit? Find a child, find a child. Before another hand touches her. Another hand touches her. I have tried my best to stop them. But you know, humans are curious about your decisions. I believe your definite powers will be of great help to avert the cause on her. I cannot offer sacrifice to myself. It is the duty of human. 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 Find the child. 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 What do I do? There shall be no cry of a baby in the crown of the baby in the crown of the father. We have tried. How do I go about this? What do I do? What do I do now? Huh? You see, that was how we came to Omoze. Eh? I guess the petition is coming to pass. I am a child of tears and sorrow. I belong to the gods. I must not live among mankind. You see, I, that, that is why I said all hope is not lost. Let us go back to Mwag. Placate uh, the gods, remove the curse, avert the curse or whatever. You see? Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Husband. Ma, please stop crying. Everything will be okay. If appeasing the gods will solve these problems and bring back your joy, I suggest you go with them. Will it bring back Ugo? Oh, Madhu. Two people have died because of me. 
Don't blame yourself. The gods are to blame. If a child is born and only to die as a sacrificial lamb, then what is the joy of motherhood? Can human question the will of the gods? It seems stupid. But sometimes one needs to question the gods, even if it's rhetorical, even if you will get no reply. That is senseless.
Look at you and your household offended the gods. And I have caused a whole lot of mayhem in this kingdom. But you fail to understand that no man can run away from his shadow. Nobody can avert the will of the gods. <coughs> um, Divya, that is why we are here. We have come to appease the gods. To appease the gods? Is she the child? Yes, she is the child. But we have come to appease the cause, so that the cause will be averted. Avert which cause, Ndoka? Ndoka, mortals don't decide for the gods. Neither do they choose for the gods. She is of the gods. She must be sacrificed. She is loved the most by the gods. You lie. Nibia, you lie. You are so wicked and heartless and very wicked. So if given the chance, you will sacrifice my only daughter. Is that what you are saying? You are only but a woman. Yes. Ndoka. You and your household left this kingdom in pains. This kingdom for years have not had the cry of a newborn baby. This kingdom was faced with sickness, diseases, hunger. Even as we speak, our queen is dying because we did not give the gods what is due to them. She must die. She must be sacrificed. You and your household caused pain to this kingdom. She must be sacrificed. Divya, I think I will need to see the Agu myself. <laughs> You can run, but you cannot hide. The okra plant can never grow taller than the person that planted it. No child can give birth to a first son before his own father. Greetings, Your Highness. Thank you. Is there anything the matter? Your Highness, why are you helping me? I am helping to solve the problems of my kingdom. And when this is over, this palace shall be your home. My home? As your wife or as your maid? You shall soon find out. Soon enough, we shall find out. No one comes to me and leave. Two have died for my cause. Your Highness, you will not want to be the next victim. Do you want to be sacrificed? I want to give you a life of peace and happiness. Peace and happiness is not in my destiny. If it is the will of the gods that I be sacrificed, I will gladly accept my fate. Um, you, you are just a kid. Go back to the chambers and, and relax. I will talk to you later. Um, anyway, 
want to go and see the Dibia, the SMO. I don't want ears to hear about it or anybody to know about it. You heard me. Okay. You can go back to and meet your parents. Yes, or know about this. Go back to your duty post. Yes, sir. I am Mary. We are supposed to be oh, we are supposed in to this be. world of men together. This world of men together. This world of men together. I send you ahead of me. I send you ahead of me. I send you ahead of me. I made you the most beautiful girl on earth. Beautiful girl on earth. Beautiful girl on earth. To be loved. To be loved. And worshipped by men. And worshipped by men. And worshipped by men. But I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Men are greedy and men are foolish. Men are foolish. Men are foolish. When you were born, when you were born, when you were born, I noticed the pain you will undergo. The pain you will undergo. If left alone on this earth, left alone on this earth, left alone on this earth. So I ordered, so I ordered that you be sent back to me. Be sent back to me. Be sent back to me. True sacrifice. True sacrifice. True sacrifice. But your worldly guidance is worldly guidance is worldly guidance is worldly guidance. So I watch you. So I rule among men. Hoping that the world will be better. The world will be better. The world will be better. To live. To live. To live, to live, to live. Then and again, then and again, men start to trespass. Men start to trespass. Men start to trespass. Men start to trespass. I am so sorry. I made him. 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 Don't worry. Don't worry. Very soon we will be together again. We will be again. I love you and how I love you. I love you. Coming to the shrine to see the chief priest is not in our tradition, not to talk of you walking alone. Or are your guards waiting for you somewhere? Um, Dibia, I know. Uh, but I think there's no one in this kingdom that would like to kill me and become Ago. I am here uh, in respect of Ndoka and the daughter. That is good. Your Highness, are they ready for the sacrifice? Dibia, is there no alternative to that? Because sacrificing that girl amounts to greater crime. Your Highness, 
we are not in any position to decide for the gods. Neither are we allowed to choose for the gods. They know they are best. She is of the gods. He think he can give her a better life. There is no better life in the world of men. Well, I have an idea. Let me see how this stupid kid is going to give her a better life. You are going to make another mistake. First, you allowed her into this corrupt world. Now, you want to allow the king to have his way with her. No. Your Highness, have eyes ever beheld such beauty she possesses? No. She is not meant to dwell amongst mankind. She is sorrows and tears, Your Highness. I want to keep her in my palace and come back later in the day to see if we can appease the gods. Your Highness, if I heard you clearly, you said you will keep her in the palace. As a maid or as a wife, Your Highness? As you know, I am entitled to as many wives as I can. My wife has been ill for a long time now. Of course, you know what I mean. I heard you clearly, Your Highness. But the person in question is of the gods. The gods are in love with her. Except you are ready to wrestle with them, which you know will attract the wrath of the gods. And that means death awaits you, Your Highness. I just want to see how powerful men can be. As a man, we have come to see what we can do to serve this maiden. So please inquire from the gods what it takes to serve this maiden. Your Highness, on your banner, it's here no so, Mabulungwe no so. Your Highness, why have you decided to challenge the gods? I told you. The gods does not need any other sacrificial item except her. She must be sacrificed to the gods. She is the sacrifice the gods demand. Divya, why? Why are you so wicked? I asked you, Divya. Why are you so wicked, heartless and stupid? Why? Woman, watch your words. It is not of my will, but rather of the gods that she must be sacrificed. Your husband, your entire household, brought the pains this kingdom is facing today. She must be sacrificed. If the gods really will that my coming to this earth is to die as a sacrifice, so be it. No 
man. Can avert the will of the gods. Nobody can avert the will of the gods. Sorry. 